Okay guys, today we have a special task. Paired alongside my dog Bear, I'm gonna be playing with a rolled back golf ball, a potentially rolled back golf ball. I still have to make the rules up and exactly what it is by 2028, but this golf ball, Nike, it uh, hasn't been built for a while, it's a one tour. Um, they say that that could be on the list of uh, non-conforming or rolled back golf ball. So today, I'm going to be playing the back tees out here at Dallas National and seeing how low I can go with the rolled back golf ball. Also giving you insight into how far this golf ball is actually gonna go. Let's get right into it. It's a par four, straight away, bunkers left. This is a Nike One Tour. I haven't played this since I was like 11, 12 years old. Let's see what this does. That's not that bad, 182 ball speed. 317 carry, 4.5 less than actually towards, it spun more, but that's actually not that bad for the first shot. I actually have no idea how far these golf balls are gonna go, so it's gonna be an interesting test today to see what we got. Not too bad of a drive to start off. 182 ball speed with a rolled back golf ball. That's a Nike One Tour, so they say that that's what it's gonna be. I'm interested to see how the little wedge shots are gonna be. 89 yards. Into the wind, gonna play 105, boy, a little 50 degree. A little off the left, play at 10 o'clock, just under 10 o'clock, 50 degree, which is gonna go 107. 101, that's gotta go. Oh, that's there. On the green, got about a 12 footer, it looks like. I'm gonna play an inch outside. Oh no, it went right, it went right. Oh my gosh. Wow, I thought it was gonna go left. That was pretty good though. Dang, well, that's a par. Not terrible, not bad. Got it in the fairway, hit it on the green, two putted. Let's see uh, what this ball can do for me for the rest of the round. The second hole, folks, is a dogly right par five. One of the nicest looking holes on the golf course, actually. Like, what are the big differences between the ball you're playing now and what might be a rolled back golf ball? Yeah, well, this golf ball is just not gonna compress uh, or not transfer energy as well. So my golf ball right now can transfer the energy off of this face a lot faster. The title is Left Dash, and this is the Nike One, uh, One Tour, I believe. This ball just doesn't transfer that energy as well. I think it's a softer golf ball. Um, so it may spin a little bit more. I don't know exactly what it's gonna do, but I'm keen to find out right here. I'm gonna go after this one. Dude. That is wild. Okay, I got lucky there. <laughs> Bro, this ball, oh my gosh. So that normally hit on the heel with my other golf ball would not miss that far left. So like with my other golf ball, that would have flown just dead straight. But that ball went left, it started left and went left with that compression. There's definitely something to say about the golf ball compression to the bulge and roll, but that's 184. That's a way big pull. I didn't feel like I pulled that either. So that was hit heel, but the heel is, because of my driver, it's rounded and pointed left. So we'll see what, <laughs> what that means. I'm gonna keep testing that out. This is literally the second time I've hit a driver uh, with this golf ball. So that's the only thing I could assume that's happening right now, uh, albeit, I can fix that, it's just gonna take a little bit of figuring out. Sloping left to right, 260. I'm gonna take a little bit off of this five wood, see what this does. Ooh, that was really good. 249, that's actually gotta go. May run out, if it gets lucky. Oh, it's gotta sit. I go over? I go over, you think? Whew! Shoot, I might have been able to six iron there. This is gonna be really interesting. Six iron might have been the play. It was downwind enough. So I got like a 25 yard shot into the wind, into the grain, little bit of rough to deal with, zoysia. Not the easiest, let's see if we can get it up there. Nice tap in for par, a little into the wind now. Oh, that came out soft. Go! Do it! Yeah, that came out weird. I don't know what to say. I came out really weird. But I'll tap in for birdie. I'm taking that every day of the week. Well, that's pretty easy birdie there. Not bad. Not too bad, I'll take that. That's one under through two, guys. On to the third, par three. Beautiful par three. It's gonna be a good test here. I'm 
one, I'm gonna play like a 160 shot here. This thing's probably only gonna be like 150, so I'm playing this thing 20 yards downwind. 172, playing 152, but this thing's only gonna fly 150. Normally this flies about 160. Oh, that ball's flying so weird. 152. Ah, it's short. <sighs> Look at that. I mean, I hit it exactly the way I wanted to. So they're going, ooh, that's probably going like five to 6% short. Ooh, well, that's a little shorter than I wanted, obviously. Not too difficult of a chip. Just gotta get that up and down. All right, we've got a 25 yard chip, 23 yard chip. I'm gonna try and land it just short of the light, just like three feet short of the light and try and make it tum tumble out. It didn't spin that well the first time I hit this chip shot in the last hole. So I'm gonna plan on it running out and we'll see where it goes. This is gonna break uh, left to right at the end. It's gonna maybe bounce right to left but then go back left to right at the end. Short. Okay, that was a, that didn't roll out as much as I thought it would. Not that great of a chip. I can make this for par. 12 feet, 2%, well, one and a half, six inches out, even four inches left of the hole. Oh, shoot. That sucks. Well, that's now even par. Okay, well, pretty bummed about that bogey there. That was a dumb bogey. Because I know I can shoot under par today. That's, that's not, shouldn't be too difficult. But I got another par five coming up. And we've got a drive, well, I don't know about drivable anymore, but this is not easy around the greens, I'll tell you that. A little more difficult. Go! I hit that good. Oh, short of the bunker. <laughs> so, I, I'm normally expecting that golf ball to curve back off the toe like that. That golf ball just didn't curve one bit. It was a great swing again. It just does not come back or curve the right way. Uh, okay, so real quickly, what I was trying to say on the tee box was that because the ball's going shorter and it's softer, it's not compressing or it's compressing too much, the ball's not curving as much consequently as well. So I'm used to the ball flying a certain distance with a certain amount of curve to it. When it's going shorter, it's just, it's just not curving as much. So like normally for me, that ball would be going farther and curving more, which would bring it back to the center. So I'm having to adjust to this golf ball from a curvature perspective as well. This is, this is wild. I'm gonna play it over to the right just to be safe. Try to at least. Oh, hook. Ah. Ah, uh, that's okay. But dang, that ball is curving completely different than a normal go than a golf ball that I'm using. That is wild. I'm thankful I'm not playing that right now to change my whole set just because of the golf ball. I have no idea where I am. Oh my gosh. Look at this. What a lie. All right. I even I don't even know how far to, I should hit it either, but that's okay. Let me give it my best. I just feel blind right now. Playing blind in this. Yeah, I'm gonna try and bump and run it now. No, I, if I land it, it's gonna be, no. I got to, all right, I have to. All right, here we go, bump and run, third shot. Yeah, not good. Ah, oh, that came off super soft. 10 yards, Let's see what I got. That's not bad. I actually didn't uh, feel that bad. Disappointing par, folks. Thought it would be a little better, but I guess not. It's, it is a big change. Yeah, make this 
All right. That's a par. Not terrible, but this is weird to play with. I'm hitting it not that bad, but the ball's going way off my line compared to what normal curvature should be with the, with the golf balls that I'm currently playing. Oh, hey, guys, come check this out. You're gonna wanna see this. Today's sponsor is uh, AG1. They uh, helped us out with this video, but more importantly, helping me out with my health. I obviously went too big, too quick. And unfortunately, man, I realized how detrimental that was to my health. Uh, I got to a level where I was three times the risk of a heart attack. And <laughs> I wanna make it clear to everybody that the way I did it was not necessarily the route to go. So I took it on myself to take care of my body. If I wanted to live, like I said, to over 100, I gotta start taking care of my body a lot more. Most people don't get their daily nutrients and vitamins in, and this is how you do it. Just put it in a water, water bottle, and drink up. The best part is it tastes really good. I actually like it. I love it. All right, so you can head to the link in my description or you can scan the QR code right here to get a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. All right, now back to the video. We're gonna focus on this par three, 224 over the ravine. The seven iron's probably not enough, but who cares, I'm gonna swing hard. I gotta hit this thing 215 at least. Two twelve. Oh, got there. Sick. I mean, shoot, that's on that hole. That's pretty good. But look at this. The spin rate was almost seven thousand. I had a huge. The ball speed was actually not bad, but the spin rate was really high. So the ball is spinning a lot more. <laughs> Normally, my seven irons a six thousand spin. Very interesting, but I'll take it. It curved pretty well with an iron. I'll, I'll take that any day of the week. All right, not too bad. So it's gonna be a tough putt though. Let's see if I can sneak a long one in. This is a very difficult hole, tough pin to get to, right to left breaker, up massively up the slope. I wish you guys could actually see this. It's like up a four and a half, five percent slope, which is crazy. But two, three, four, five. 42 feet up a five percent. It's going overall right to left about a foot and a half, two feet. 42 feet, gonna play 20 more feet. 20 more, it's a 60 footer here. Do it, do it! Oh. All right, nice par. I will take that par. That's one of the most difficult holes out here on the golf course. Even par, not too bad. Like I said, it's very difficult to get comfortable with how this ball's performing off wedge shots and off the driver. So I gotta play well coming in if I wanna shoot in a par here. Let's hope this ball reacts somewhat normal. It's not going to, but I know when I've hit range balls in the past and I'll hit it off the toe and the heel with this driver, it will miss right and will miss left. So there's something to do with like the compression of it that makes the ball not react like it does for it to go back to straight and center line. Anyway, this is a straightaway hole, par four, 452. I can make birdie in this hole if I hit a good drive. I'll have a wedge into this hole. Stay. That should be fine. Yeah, that's good. 82. Low spin there. I turned it over a little bit. 182 ball speed, 320 carry. It still carries pretty good, but funny thing is the ball flies straighter because it's going shorter. I'm not used to that. I pulled that. I thought that was in the left trees. <laughs> so it actually went straighter. It helped me there um, in that situation. 133 downwind with a rolled back golf ball. I have no clue how far to hit this. It's gonna roll out five yards, 128, downwind, 12, 116. I'm gonna try and hit something with spin. So I'm gonna do a 56 street, although it's going shorter, I don't know how far that's going. The biggest problem, I have no idea how far this thing's actually going. Um, it's supposed to have the first cut, but I'm gonna try and play this like a 110 shot. So just about a 1030, 1030, 56 degree. Oh my gosh, do you see the ball rolling like that? Do you guys see that? What is that? 
Well, another sticky situation. Uh, that ball landed like halfway on the green. It rolled 20, 25 yards. I'm gonna go fix that pitch mark. <laughs> okay, count this out with me. This is it, fresh, fresh pitch mark. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 27 yards, and it got stopped by the, the rough. This thing ran 30 yards. It's 15 mile an hour downwind with a wedge shot out of the first cut. That's completely uncontrollable. That would have been a stroke penalty. Only three fourths of the way there. Come on. Yeah, that's not good. That's not great. Another 12 footer. I gotta make this. This is huge for me. Got this about five inches out. 12 feet, 2%, right up there. That looks really good, actually. I can still putt. <laughs> that's a good thing. Didn't react there, because I didn't think it was actually gonna get there, but that's a hell of a par. Alrighty, folks, this is the hole I have got to birdie. It's a drivable, semi-drivable, it's 340. Don't know if I can drive it with this, like I was saying earlier in the, in the video, but I have to smoke this driver to get it up there. I'm gonna get the foresight. Um, I've been hovering around 182 when normally I'm around like, at these speeds, like 188 to 90 with my other ball. So it's a pretty significant drop in ball speed, almost six to seven miles an hour at my speeds. Um, I'm just gonna be honest, I don't like it. Okay, I'm gonna put, the afterburners on this, I, want, I really want to test how far this rolled golf ball actually goes. I want to see what it actually can do. Wind's off the right. That's only 87, are you kidding? That was perfect though. Get on the green, come on. Oh, let's go. Get down the hill. No way that's up on top. That was a perfect drive. Look at this. But at 3,000 spin, so a little spinnier. So I got to 187, but it's 3,000 spin and only flew 315. Is hitting with this like somewhat comparable to hitting with like a range ball? Or? No, 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 no. The range balls go farther than that. <laughs> no, range balls actually go farther than this. They don't have that type of compression. This is low. I mean, I smoked that. was like a 195 ball speed. Here, okay, let's do this. I'm gonna show you guys what a Pro V1X Left Dash, the fastest, one of the fastest golf balls in the market, does compared to a Nike One Tour, the rolled back golf ball. You saw what that one was for all the viewers. And this is what a normal golf ball does. That's a thin ball. That's a perfect, you can't get much better than that. I landed pretty much in the same spot, but I did thin that and that was 2,800 spin. That was five miles an hour faster already. Flew 15 yards farther. Were they saying it was like a 10, 11 yard difference? Nah, it's like 15 to 20. If I hit that good, it was probably 25. I don't like it. I hit that first ball, the Nike one, perfectly right on the screws. The left dash, I actually thinned it pretty poorly and it had five miles an hour more ball speed and less spin. It flew that much farther. It's pretty wild. Let's go see what the difference in distance actually is. The first ball landed short of the green. The second ball landed right next to the ball where it ended up and went over the green. So technically for this hole, that ball worked really well. <laughs> but this is where technically the second one landed. It's exactly where the second one landed. Let's see where the uh, second ball is. Oh yeah, it went through the rough that far. So. Shoot, that's 35, 40 yards farther, definitely. Okay, well, I've got this for Eagle now, down the hill. Big putt we made in the last hole. If I make this to go 200, that'd be pretty good. I wanna play this three-fourths of the way, 48 feet, 36. I'm, at this, uh, I'm actually gonna hit this like, it's 48 feet in place. 10, 12, 13, 13 feet short. 35 footer right here.
that wasn't good. <laughs> that broke four more feet than what I thought. Five and a half feet, breaks a little left. All right, pretty straight though. What do you see, Chase? Left cup. Left cup? You, you think, what do you think, Chase, left cup? Is that what you said? You think it's, you think it's left edge? Yeah. You're serious, you think it's actually left edge? I'm more like dead straight. Yeah, that's why I play right center. I thought it would bounce a little left in the beginning, right? I'm gonna have to work on your green reading skills, Chase. Alrighty. Par number eight, par four, straight away. This is uh, one of those difficult holes out here. No real place to bail. You gotta hit a good tee shot here. If I was practicing for the Masters or any other tournament, this is a hole I'd go to and just play over and over until I got really good at it. Down. Down. Oh, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> that ball's going nowhere. 160, into the wind, have to hit like a half shot. I'm assuming eight iron's going like 190, 30, so 10 o'clock eight iron. I'm gonna go 10 o'clock eight iron, just to try to control the trajectory. I don't want it to go too high. One sixty four. Wow. Seven thousand spin on a ten o'clock shot with an eight iron. That's actually a lot. This is an opportunity to make birdie right here, actually. I'm gonna chip this in. So you know what? I'm gonna even bring the putter. All right. That was close. That was close, guys. That ball came off a lot softer, though. <laughs> Weird. But it wasn't softer. It was like, it came off more dead with less spin. I can definitely say technology has improved the golf ball around the greens. That is a big component that people don't realize in playing an old golf ball like this. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on this hole. I'm gonna have my foresight tell me how far exactly these balls are going. I'm gonna use the Nike ball first, and we're gonna see how this thing performs. I'm gonna play it out to the right. This hole slopes to the left. It's a beautiful hole. Let's see if I can make birdie to finish it off. Let's go. I was waiting for somebody to say one, but nobody did. That's not that great. 178 ball speed. I pushed the heck out of that one, guys. Yeah, it's just a little outside the fairway. Let's go after this one, though. Let's see what we got here. Eighty-five, two thousand. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna hit one more good one with the. Sorry, I want to hit one more good ball with a Nike, just to kind of like compare. Now that I have that one in play, and see what this Nike golf ball can actually do. I'm gonna hit it good too. <laughs> 179, six miles an hour slower. That's actually wild. Yeah, I don't want to roll back golf ball. It's ridiculous. That's a pretty big difference. That's a really big difference in distance. <laughs> All right, uh, 112 downwind, 100 yard shot. Bear, back. Come on, buddy. Up. Up, 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 up. Sit, stay. Thank you. Good boy. All right, try and play this thing 100 yards, just over 10 o'clock.
Sit? Question mark? No, go. Oh, sit. That had zero spin on it, but that was a fantastic shot. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. This ball was rolling. Holy crap. That was a wedge shot that rolled out freaking eight yards. After seeing everything you've seen today, do you think we should roll the golf ball back? I'm gonna leave it up to you. But everything I saw today, from my perspective, I personally wouldn't want it. Three, four, five, 15 feet. Let's knock this ball in. Ah, uh, that was a good roll, dude. Did you see that thing roll end over end? This is to break par. And that's how you do it, folks. So that is one under par with a rolled back golf ball. Mm -hmm.